Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 291 The Beginning of Greatness In order to increase the Abyssal Blade's potential, Shurfong had intended to gather ten level fifteen fine gold weapons to serve as a sacrifice. Hence, he had deliberately kept the Abyssal Blade at level ten all this time. Now, however, he no longer had the leeway to do so. The Abyssal Blade started exuding a dark fog, which immediately charged at the sacrificial weapons Shurfong had prepared. Within three seconds, even the incomparably hard Demon Bane, a dark gold ranked one handed sword, had been turned into dark fog and was absorbed by the Abyssal Blade. After the Abyssal Blade had finished devouring the sacrificial weapons, the weapon was no longer completely pitch black in appearance. Golden divine runes appeared on the blade of the sword, giving off a faint golden glow. Meanwhile, the entire blade itself had also become silvery gray. When Shurfong casually brandished the Abyssal Blade, slashing it through the air, the feeling he got was like he was cutting a transparent sheet of paper. Sharp. Shurfong looked at the Abyssal Blade in his hand, astonishment filling his eyes. If he combined such sharpness with the basic destructive power passive skill, even without the Ice Blue Devil Flame, he could still easily destroy mysterious iron-ranked weapons and equipment. Secret silver-ranked items would also last only a while longer. Abyssal Blade, One-Handed Sword, Magic Weapon, Attack Power plus 211, All Attributes plus 25, Attack Speed plus 8, Ignore Levels plus 8, Attacks have, If Wielder belongs to any Swordsman-related class, All Skill Levels plus 3, Increase free ability points received for every increase in level by 2 points. Equipment level 15. Can be upgraded. Devour 10 level 20 mysterious iron weapons and 1 level 20 secret silver weapon to upgrade to level 20. Can be evolved. Unknown. Additional skill 1. Phantom kill. Instantly creates a doppelganger. You can control this doppelganger. Doppelganger will have 55% of original body's attributes and all skills. At the same time, Doppelganger and the original body can be swapped. Duration 40 seconds. Cooldown 5 minutes. Additional skill 2. Abyssal Bind. Binds enemies and prevents movement, reducing defense by 100%. Duration 3 seconds. Cooldown 1 minute. Additional skill 3. 9 Dragon Slash. Instantly creates 9 phantoms of the Abyssal Blade for Wielder to use. Each phantom sword is capable of dealing up to 30% damage. Duration 30 seconds. Cooldown 5 minutes. Additional skill 4. Dark Violent Dance. 45% of the total damage dealt to the target spreads in a cone-shaped area towards targets within a distance of 12 yards. Duration 30 seconds. Cooldown 1 minute. The Abyssal Blade was personally created by Master Smith Olises using the Black Dragon King's Fangs as material. It is one of 36 famed swords, and it is ranked 31st. However, this sword has been cursed by the Black Dragon King. Aside from providing the wielder with immense strength, there will be a backlash every period of time. However, after being remodeled by Jack using a star crystal, the strength of the backlash has been greatly reduced. If the wielder is unable to suppress the backlash, the wielder will receive the curse of the Black Dragon King permanently reducing all attributes by 50%. Unable to be dropped. Unable to be traded. As expected of a magic weapon. Even though only 10 mysterious iron weapons and one dark gold weapon were used as its sacrifice, its new attack power is even higher than a dark gold weapon of the same level. This attack power could already rival a dark gold ranked two-handed sword. Sure Fong smiled in satisfaction. The level 15 Dark Gold ranked Demon Bane only had 183 attack power. Meanwhile, the Abyssal Blade had 211 attack power. It was far stronger than the Demon Bane. Not to mention, the other attributes and skills of the Abyssal Blade had also received a significant improvement from the upgrade this time around. Unfortunately, the Abyssal Blade was still far from being a match for the Purgatory's Shadow, a level 20 Dark Gold ranked one handed sword. Purgatory's Shadow, One-Handed Sword, Dark Gold Rank, Level 20, can be upgraded twice.
Attack power plus 273. Strength plus 30. Agility plus 25. Endurance plus 22. Attack speed plus 2. Attacks have additional skill. Purgatory power. When activated, increases attack speed by 100% and damage dealt by 30% for 15 seconds. Cooldown 2 minutes. However, this could not be helped. Level 20 weapons and equipment were essentially more powerful than level 15 ones. At level 20, players could take the promotion to become a tier 1 class. Hence, level 20 weapons and equipment would all be significantly stronger. Although the attack power has improved greatly, it won't be enough to get me through the sixth trial. Sure Fong knew that a player's combat power could not simply be measured through their attack power alone. An increase in attack power only meant that the damage players dealt would be higher than before. Meanwhile, combat power was the synthesis of various other factors such as strength, agility, endurance, and other basic attributes. Skill level was also a factor to consider. Even if Shurfong multiplied his current attack power by three to four times, his HP would still be tens of times lower than the monster in the sixth trial. If he could not dodge the monster's attacks, he would still lose his life after taking a few hits. So, an increase in attack power would not bring too great an increase to his overall combat power. A player was just like a wooden bucket that was used to collect water. 1. How strong they were depended not on their strengths but their weaknesses. Sure Fong called out the system interface. As Eucharist had already opened up the exchange system of the War God's Temple's treasury for Sure Fong, he could now directly exchange his merit points through the system. Sure Fong immediately used 1,500 merit points to exchange for a level 20 dark gold weapon. He then took out another 10 level 20 mysterious iron weapons from his bag. There were plenty of mysterious iron weapons stored inside the guild warehouse. Moreover, during the past few days, while Sure Fong, Aqua Rose, and Fire Dance were trapped within the Forgotten Lands, Blackie and the others had kept themselves busy raiding level 20, five-man party dungeons to level up and obtain materials and equipment. They were making preparations to challenge the level 20, 10-man Great Dungeon. During this process, they had obtained plenty of level 20 mysterious iron-ranked weapons and equipment. Currently, Zero Wing possessed the most level 20 weapons and equipment out of all the guilds in White River City. With such a large supply, Sure Fong had set aside some of the level 20 mysterious iron ranked weapons and equipment with the weakest performance for future use. However, he had never thought he would get to put them to good use so quickly. Following which, Sure Fong chose to upgrade the Abyssal Blade once more. In God's domain, level 20 was considered a large threshold. Just like the time the Abyssal Blade had risen to level 10, it would receive a large improvement when it was upgraded to level 20. Now, whether or not Sure Fong could clear the next trial would rely solely on the performance of the level 20 Abyssal Blade. The devouring process this time was clearly different from when the Abyssal Blade got upgraded to level 15. After devouring the offerings, the Abyssal Blade erupted and let loose a dragon's roar. The sky and earth trembled in the face of this mighty roar. Immediately after, the Abyssal Blade broke free from Sure Feng's grasp and floated in mid-air. Boom! The Abyssal Blade exploded, transforming into a black tornado. The surroundings went deathly still as if with bated breath. As the black tornado dissipated, a gigantic figure emerged in its place. This figure was none other than the phantom of the Black Dragon King that Shurfong had previously seen. However, compared to the first time Shurfong had seen it, the phantom that appeared this time was much more vivid. Moreover, the destructive aura it emitted was far stronger than before. Even when he was faced with the apex powerhouses back at the Eternal Throne, Shurfong had not been so scared. Of course, this disparity was also due to the fact that those big shots had been intentionally suppressing their auras. At this moment, the Black Dragon King's Phantom, which was several hundred meters in height, actually turned to look at Shurfong and revealed a human-like sneer. Soon after, the phantom dissipated and transformed back into the Abyssal Blade. As the sword landed, its blade stabbed deep into the earth before Shurfong, with only its hilt remaining above ground. Some time passed before Shurfong gradually recovered from his stupor. 
He then slowly extended his hand and pulled out the abyssal blade. The appearance of the abyssal blade had greatly changed after being upgraded. The entire sword was now silvery gray in color, and it exuded a faint, black aura of death. The image of a black dragon could also be seen fading in and out of existence on the blade of the sword. Meanwhile, the image of a dragon had also been carved out of the hilt of the abyssal blade. There were small black chains wrapped around the hilt as well, seemingly acting as a seal for the dragon. Have I just done something I shouldn't have? Shurfong wondered, laughing bitterly as he looked at the lifelike dragon sculpture. Everything was playing out just as Faust, the legendary character Shurfong had met back at the Star River Valley, had said. A magic weapon was a double-edged sword. As one allowed the magic weapon to grow in strength, the curse contained within it would also grow stronger. Meanwhile, the wielder would sooner or later be devoured by the strength of the magic weapon. 1. This is the bucket that's being used as description. https colon slash slash gss one dot bdstatic.com vo3 dsax i4 cage co wk1 hf6 hhy slash by key slash C0% 3 bake 92% 2C 5% 2C 5% 2C 92% 2C 30 slash sign is 09 BCF 35D 3C8 A7 8 6 a 2 7 4 2 5 c 0 6 6 0 a 2 5 8 slash 40 0 8 6 E 0 6 1 D 9 5 0 a 7 BC 7 8 C 2 1 0 B 0 8 D 1 6 2 D 9 F 3 D 3 C 9 4 0 dot JPG how much water the bucket can hold relies not on the longest plank used to make the bucket, but the shortest plank instead.